Hi, this is Karen Ann Archer and welcome back to my studio. Today we're going to remove varnish from a masonite board painting and a canvas painting. I'll show you what we have today. This is a small 6x8 study I did at Garnet Lee Master Studio. One thing that bothers me about this painting is that there should be a reflection of the chicken in the copper pot. And I didn't realize I didn't add that in until way past varnishing time. So I put two, if you can see how shiny it is, I put two coats of varnish on that. You can see the shine on it. So we're going to be removing that. We're going to fix the reflection and re-varnish. The other one we're going to work on today is a 9 by 12 painting that I've recently done a varnishing video on. Actually, there's nothing wrong with this. It actually turned out really great. You can see the shine. But I just want to demonstrate the difference of removing the varnish from canvas versus the masonite board. I'm a little nervous on how this is going to turn out, but this is something every artist needs to know is how to get this varnish off because there's sometimes you want to go back and you want to correct things. So today, besides the paintings you want to remove the varnish from, we just need the Gamsol, and I just got a little bottle of Gamsol, brand new bottle of Gamsol. I don't want to reuse any old recycled Gamsol because you don't want any oil pigments in the Gamsol. I've got two rags that are just cut up white t-shirts that's been washed several times so I know there's not any like extra lint going to come off of them and we're removing the Gambar varnish so this is all we need to get started and cross our fingers that we do okay Okay, let's get started. I have two rags. One is going to be to wipe the varnish off and one is to add the Gamsol. So we're gonna open our bottle of Gamsol. And of course it has a lid. <clears throat> we're going to soak our first rag with the Gamsol. And we're going to lightly rub the Gamsol. I guess I'm, you can see the camera wiggle a little bit, so I am putting some pressure on the Gamsol onto the painting. Okay. Now we'll set that aside. I'm going to take our other rag and wipe off the Gamsol. Oh, I can really see the shine coming off. Let's see if I can get that to pick up. Not sure if I can get that to pick up. But as you rub, you're actually going to see the shine disappear. Hopefully the camera's picking that up well enough. And if you see, I'm not really taking off any paint. Actually, this works quite well. Hopefully, you can tell it's a lot less shinier. I want to set that aside and I'm going to let that dry. Okay. Now, you can see the real, the real shine on there, which is great. I'm going to turn my rag and get a clean spot. We're going to do the same with our wipe off rag. Okay. Now, since so I have a clean spot on my rag, I apply the Gamsol and I'm really giving it a lot. Actually, whoops, I made a little bit of a mess. That's okay. Now, again, I'm going to try to hold it to do it so maybe the camera can show the shine disappear. Hopefully this is going to pick up on camera. But I'm just kind of rubbing it in. Almost feels like I'm rubbing it in like you've ever waxed a car. A little karate kid. Wax on, wax off. So 
So, and remember, there are a lot of grooves in oil paintings, a lot of peaks and valleys. So I'm kind of trying to rub it in. It's a little bit difficult holding it. So I'm going to put it down for one minute. Notice, I'm not really, I've got, I'm assuming I may have picked up a little bit of paint. I don't know, but so far so good on me not smearing any paint around. So I got my clean rag and I'm just picking up the gamsaw now, wiping it off. Wax off. Okay. And yes, I am getting stuff on my rag. I'm not sure if that's just the gamsaw varnish or the gam bar varnish coming off. Or if it's picking up this darker paint. I'm gonna do it one more time. Since we have two layers, let's do this process two layer two times. Rubbing it on there. And now I'm going to move around my rag again. Give you another clean spot. I'm going to try not to wiggle my camera around. Okay, I really don't see any shine left from the varnish. Okay, it looks more back to a matte finish, if you can tell. It's just not as shiny as what it once was. Now, I am going to let it dry and then revarnish. So, we're going to give it some time. I have completed the corrections of the reflection of the chicken in the copper pot. And if you can tell, if I can get the camera to pick it up, the gloss finish is gone. And this is definitely dry to touch. It will take several weeks, especially on canvas board, for that little area to dry for I can revarnish this painting. So we'll set this aside and we'll go back. And you can tell how there's really not any shine left on this painting compared to what it was before. So this is ready to re-varnish. Okay, we're going to re-varnish. I've let it dry. You can tell there's still not much shine on it. Again, we'll, we have Gambar gloss varnish. I apologize, the sound of my dog in the background. We've got our varnish brush. I'm going to reapply the varnish. And as my other video on varnishing, you do scrub in the Gim Bar varnish. No need to worry about the bubbles. Making sure that I've not getting any lint. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up. You can tell the shine's really back on there. Make sure I'm not getting any lint off any lint. Going on two different directions. Just want to take the Gambar varnish and the shine's back.
Check out my previous video, Varnish Oil Painting. Well, it seems to me like the Gamvar Varnish is really easy to remove and reapply. I want to thank you for visiting me in my studio today and doing this scary process together. And, but it really works well. Just a simple little wipe on and wipe off is all it took. I did allow a process of drying in between remo removing the Gambar varnish before I re-varnished it. If you want any more details on varnishing with Gambar, check out my other video and please like and subscribe as we learn together. And thank you and come back and see me. Mm -hmm.